treatment and management of Parkinson's disease. Medication is the main treatment for Parkinson's disease. Medications your doctor prescribes will likely help your Parkinson's symptoms, but they also can cause side effects, and some medications become less effective over time. Parkinson's treatment has two goals. The first is to manage your symptoms as well as possible. The second is to minimize side effects of treatment. Parkinson's causes movement or motor symptoms and non-motor symptoms. Medication can often control motor symptoms for many years. These symptoms include tremor, stiffness, and slowness of movement. Your doctor will probably need to adjust your medications over time. It's important to tell your doctor about all your symptoms and even keep a daily record or diary of how you feel. This will enable more effective medication adjustments. The medications you take for early Parkinson's may be different from those you take later. There are three main medication classes for Parkinson's, dopamine agonists, MAOB inhibitors, and levodopa. The decision as to which class to begin treatment with will depend on your age, symptom severity, and the potential side effects of each medication. These medications help simulate, extend, or replace, respectively, the brain chemical dopamine, which is reduced in Parkinson's disease. Dopamine agonists cause dopamine-like effects in the brain. These include premipexol, ropinirole, and rotigotine transdermal patch. MAOB inhibitors keep the brain from breaking down its natural dopamine quickly. They include selegiline and drosogeline. They can be effective for early mild symptoms. Levodopa helps replace dopamine in the brain. All Parkinson's disease patients eventually take carbidopa levodopa, or levodopa for short, which is the gold standard treatment. Several forms of levodopa are available. You can take an immediate release tablet that gives all the medicine at once, a tablet that releases medicine over a longer time, or a dissolvable tablet you can hold on your tongue to take without water. Over time, with disease progression, levodopa's effects can wear off faster. During these periods, patients may feel their motor symptoms return prior to their next dose. Therapeutic options your doctor may consider include changing the frequency of your levodopa dose or adding levodopa-extending drugs such as enticapone or an MAOB inhibitor such as drosogeline or selegiline. Too much levodopa tends to produce abnormal involuntary movements called dyskinesias. Your doctor will try to help you balance on times when you have well-controlled symptoms and little non-bothersome dyskinesias with off times when your medication levels are low and Parkinson's symptoms bother you. Therapeutic options your doctor may consider include reducing your levodopa dose or frequency or adding amantadine. Many non-motor symptoms can be treated individually. For example, your doctor can recommend other medications for constipation, sleep issues, or depression. Again, writing down your symptoms can help you get the necessary treatment. Failure to treat these symptoms can worsen the motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease. A surgical treatment called deep brain stimulation, or DBS, should be considered for motor complications that are not improving significantly with medication adjustments. DBS treats problems such as tremor, stiffness, and slowness of movement. DBS involves placing tiny electrodes into specific areas of the brain. They are attached to a battery-powered stimulator under your collarbone. Your doctor can adjust the stimulator to deliver electrical signals that will help alleviate the movement problems. DBS is done in a hospital after careful evaluation by a neurosurgeon. In the past, patients had to be awake for the procedure. Now, experts can do a sleep DBS using advanced imaging to identify where the electrode should go. Your DBS will probably not give perfect relief right away. Your medical team will adjust it over a period of months for the most benefit. One new medication is a gel form of levodopa that goes directly into the body through a small pump. Research shows it can give more on time with fewer abnormal movements than immediate release levodopa tablets. Ask your doctor about other new treatments. Beyond surgery and medication, it is vital to engage in regular exercise, physical therapy for movement problems, speech therapy for voice and swallowing problems, 
and counseling and medication for depression. Massage, acupuncture, yoga, and other body care practices may also help. A diet consisting of plenty of fruits, vegetables, and water can help with Parkinson's-related constipation. Protein may be a concern in your diet at different stages of Parkinson's because with some people it can interfere with how your medication is absorbed. A nutritionist can help you find the right balance. Researchers are working to find new Parkinson's treatments. Clinical trials, which are research studies done with volunteers, are underway for gene therapy and medications to slow the loss of dopamine-producing nerve cells, as well as other Parkinson's treatments. Ask your doctor about clinical trials. You may help your own disease, and you will give doctors valuable information on future treatments. Taking your medications as directed, telling your doctor about symptoms and possible side effects, and asking questions can make your treatment more effective. If one Parkinson's medication does not help, you still have other options. Seeing your doctor every three to six months, having your medications adjusted regularly, and telling your doctor about changes in side effects are important in Parkinson's disease. You can do a lot to manage this lifelong disease and have a good quality of life. Finding the right doctor and working with them to take the best care of yourself can give hope and help you live well with Parkinson's.